I'm here. I'm in Austin at my cousin's house. Um, it's been quite quite the journey to get here, but I did it. I did it. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm not even sure where to start. It was a really sweet last couple of days in Fairfield. I did a lot of packing, a lot of organizing and cleaning and getting stuff wrapped up and ready to go. I had a great Saturday, a great art walk in Fairfield, my last art walk for a while. I got these feather earrings, Emily's leather feather and chain, and my dad in April got me these beautiful little rose petal earrings that are a real rose petal dipped in wax. Got to say goodbye to lots of friends, lots of people, and see the last few cool things about the art walk that I wanted to see. And then we drove up to Des Moines, and um, the next morning I went to a songwriting workshop. From Well, first I went to the farmer's market with my cousin early. We got some breakfast pizzas. She dropped me off at the workshop with Steve Seskin, and that was a great workshop and just getting to really um get back in touch with that whole songwriting from the heart center and doing it for the art's sake for the sake of the song um serving the song serving the muse and that that comes first and the commercialism comes after the commerce comes after if you want to you don't have to but not to do it the other way around where you try to create something for the sake of commerce because it doesn't tend to turn out too well so it was good to get that really um reinforced right before leaving to austin and then i had a nice evening with my cousin and gilberto and then I had to leave super duper early in the morning. My flight was at 6 o'clock, so I had to be at the airport at 5. But everything went really smoothly. I got through security smoothly. I My gate was close. Didn't have to walk far with my heavy guitar case. They let me gate check my guitar, so I didn't have to worry about it being checked all the way. I didn't have to pay extra for it. The first flight went really smooth, and then I got out at gate C20, and I only had to go to gate C23, which is amazing and hardly ever happens for me because... Flying from the small airport of Des Moines, usually you have to take a train and then walk all the way to the opposite end of the airport, um, which I've done before with that heavy guitar case, and it's not super fun, so I was happy to only walk a little ways. And when I got to the airport, by the time I got to the baggage claim, my suitcases were already there, and I called my cousin, and she was like two minutes away. We went to her house, dropped off my stuff, changed into sandals, <laughs> took off my wool socks, <laughs> really hot, and then we went out um, to to lunch at this nice restaurant, and she took me grocery shopping to get a few things, and and then I pretty much crashed pretty early. I was pretty tired, and the next day I didn't have to be at the Rubicon Studio until six. So I had the whole day to kind of, I got up, I wrote in my journal, um, had breakfast and everything like before nine, which is pretty unusual for me. Usually nine is when I'm kind of like starting to wrestle out of bed and be like, I don't want to. So, um, I was definitely excited to start the day. I wanted to go kind of early in case the bus was late or in case I couldn't figure it out or something. And I kind of realized at the last minute, like, oh, I had to go because it's going to take me 20 minutes to walk to the station. So I walked out of my cousin's house through the garage and then I realized I didn't know how to close the garage door. I tried like pressing the button from the inside and like running to the garage door but then it stopped and went back up. So it's like a child safety thing so at least I would not have been smashed by a garage door. <laughs> but I still didn't know how to get out and I finally it occurred to me to try doing the code that she told me to get back in. And it was the same code, so that worked out. But I was a little nervous for a while because I couldn't get a hold of her. I'm like, how do I get, oh, how do I leave? 
and the bus had wireless internet, which was really good because then I could figure out what my next stop was. And I did go past the one that my iPod told me, but I managed to get on the right bus anyways. And then on that bus, there was this funny guy who was like all dressed in yellow, like he had yellow socks and kind of white and green and yellow striped shorts and a yellow shirt. He kind of smiled at me when I first got on and then later I kind of turned and he kind of, you know, he caught my glance or whatever and he's, he's like, excuse me, can I ask you about your earrings? And I was wearing my rose petal earrings and um, he was trying to ask me how they were made or whatever and I didn't really know exactly but then he's like, well, I just love your whole outfit. It's like chocolate and strawberries and it's like cake and I could just eat it and I was like ah what are you talking about I had a pink tank top and a brown skirt on um <laughs> and uh, I kind of was like uh thank you and he's like and I'm sure you're tired of hearing that because and by that I mean I'm sure you've been hearing it all day long and um I just yeah I just kind of like thank you kind of shifted my hand and hoped that he would see my wedding ring and he ended up getting off on the next stop um and I just tried not to laugh a few stops later Havila who I'm going to be renting her room from next month got on the bus and I'm like Havila ah so that was cool to see her and I knew for sure I was on the right bus and I made it to Rubicon Studios <sighs> It was such a triumph, you know, when he opened the door to just be like, I did it. I got here. Holy cow. It's finally happening. And I was so excited. Then Dan wanted me to p try playing one of my songs. Like, what would be like maybe one of my, we decided to call it Back Pocket Song. Um, like, what's the song that you always just pull out of your back pocket when somebody asks you to play or if you're at a song circle or open mic or you know, playing songs for new people, like, what's that song? And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know if I can play any of my songs right now because I really just spent so much of my time focusing on getting to Austin <laughs> that I really just kind of put away my guitar for a few weeks. I'd been taking some really great guitar lessons with Taylor Ross before. And, um... I think before my first sort of trip to Austin where he came down to check it out and then we didn't pick him back up and because everything was getting busy crazy and, and then I just, I was like, some things I just have to focus on getting ready to go and I just am not going to be able to do everything and I'll have lots of time to practice guitar when I'm in Austin, so. Um, and my newest song, I wasn't even sure I could play because I didn't have the partial capos and so he just let me, uh, play around a little bit on his new Martin guitar, it's a beautiful little thing, and it uh, sounds real pretty. And, and we made some toast, some really nice gluten-free toast with peanut butter and jam, and Dan does 12 week sessions of group, and I'm not sure how all of them go, but I, you know, I'd noticed that people brought instruments, I was like, what, what is this group where we bring instruments? Um, so yeah, I guess it's that you work on songs in a group for 12 weeks, and I don't know how other ones have gone, but Dan was really wanting to work on having people kind of be the band leader for their song. So each person will do a song and be the band leader for that song, and um, if we got through the songs really quickly, then we could go on and pick another one and do like a bigger show, but in any case, we'd at least have four songs, and then we'd perform them at the end of the 12-week session, in a little sort of open house situation at Rubicon. And, uh, yeah, so that was cool. And he said, you know, let's, you know, start thinking about songs you want to do and also what you might want to do, might, what you might want to get out of the 12 weeks and what might you want to do that kind of pushes you to the edge of your comfort zone and would be kind of a cool, neat thing to get out of 12 weeks. And the first thing that popped into my head was, I want to do a guitar solo. And then immediately, like, the sensor clamped down. I was like, you can't do that. You don't even know how to do anything. And, um, but I said it anyway, so we'll see how that goes. I know when I was working with Taylor, she said, you know, sometimes the solo can just be one or two notes. So maybe that's all it'll be. 
but I have a feeling in 12 weeks I'll be doing a guitar solo in front of people. So that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and then we just, um, he gave me and my guitars and Connie had a mandolin and Bettina got on the drum set and he just had Bettina start doing a little simple beat and then Mari come in on just you know every every first beat with a stroke on the guitar and then had me fill in with some strumming and Connie did her mandolin and then he got out his electric guitar and one of them and, and started soloing just a little bit over it and we did it all just only on the C chord just on the C and it was amazing and it was beautiful and it was so much fun and it was like so many dreams were coming true in one chord I was so happy because <laughs> um, aside from making my own music I really want to make music with other people and I haven't felt like it was safe or I was good enough or anything and you know maybe a hundred percent of that is my fault but it was so great to be in a space where I was honored and welcomed and encouraged to just join in at the level that I could and then we jammed out a little for a little while on from C to F and that was it and it was also great and we started kind of just doing a little bit of vocalizing and so I think it's gonna be a really fun really great group of women to work with on songs I'm really excited to see what ends up happening there so, but once again, part of that was like, you know, what kind of song do you want to play? And it's like, I know I want to play an original. I have no idea which one. But um, it kind of comes back to that whole back pocket song, and that's sort of one of my things to think about. My next session's on Thursday, so I think I'm probably supposed to bring at least a couple candidates for a back pocket song by Thursday. They don't have to be the same or stay the same. But at least, you know, have a couple. So, I'm pretty happy. Pretty excited, looking forward to getting really digging in to the music. But, oh, I forgot to, after group night, Jana took me out. Um, and we got tacos. So, good to connect with her and just talk about music and... Mm. and the such like so yeah I am excited I am happy and I'm looking forward to the rest <laughs>